I'm sorry, my cat Faye would like what? to say hello. <laughs> the the uh, that that looks like a well-fed cat. Let me just observe. yeah, she's she's a happy cat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I want to just say at the outset, uh, I love independent bookstores. I, I love no. uh, wandering in and discovering new voices and new authors and. Uh, 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 you guys are such important institutions in our community, so uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, uh, things are going well and, and uh, that uh, I, I'm sure I speak for your customers uh, that during what was a challenging time, uh, you were a little oasis for them uh, to be able to uh, at least uh, stretch their imaginations, even if they couldn't always stretch their legs. Yeah, yeah, I, we do feel like we were that and, and it certainly was an oasis for me to um, to be able to go there. So and I, I so appreciate how much you have supported over the years independent bookstores. So it, it means a lot to us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I, I had been wondering and my business partner Ann Patchett uh, also wondered uh, if you hadn't been a politician, would you have been happy being a writer? Um, and what would you have been writing if you had? Let me first of all say, and essay in Harper was <laughs> spectacular. Yeah. So tell her that I loved it. I will. Um, I'm just not, um, I'm not sure that I uh, am gifted enough as a writer, like somebody like Ann is to have been fully satisfied as a writer, because by definition, a, a writing life is one that is a little more solitary mm -hmm. and sacrifices, I think, uh, make you wanna make sure that what you're writing is so good that it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a pretty good writer, but you know, I don't know if I, I've got those gifts. Um, but but what I will say is this: that that uh, uh, the writing sensibility is one that uh, I find central to who I am. And, and what I mean by that is uh, that that what what books, you know, fiction, nonfiction narratives, um, what, what they do for me is to take me out of myself and mm -hmm. uh, create connections that sometimes you don't see on the surface and give you the language and the stories to construct meaning out of your life and uh, sort of sustain a sense of wonder about this strange time we spend on this globe in the middle of space. And, um, and so even when I'm not writing, I try to maintain that sense of uh gosh you know look look how the world works and how people are so different but they're so the same and yes um you know where can you find uh little bits of kindness or uh you know being useful in ways that give you a moral code that you can live by and 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 that I, th I think uh, is something that uh, uh, I, I cling to and that, you know, what I do write, I'm trying to transmit. Uh -huh. uh, I'm, I'm trying to capture uh, some of that, uh, even when I'm writing about pretty dry things like the financial crisis. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, certainly when I'm writing about my family or, or you know, uh, meeting people around the country uh, or, or meeting people around the world. And and um, and I, I I think that it helped me be a better person, which in turn hopefully made me a better president. Thank you All so right. much. You All take right. care. Be well. Great talking with you. Thank you.